please. Well, I want to start with a fundamental puzzle and a paradox. And that is, why is it that in the United States, the wealthiest country in the world, we also have the highest rates of poverty amongst the industrialized countries? Furthermore, why do we do so little to address this poverty? Now, this is a question that has perplexed social researchers for decades. And I started thinking about this question uh, maybe 20 years ago. And as I was thinking about this, there were a lot of different factors and explanations for why this paradox might exist. But I was interested in one particular type of factor, and that is perhaps many Americans don't realize what a risk poverty is to them. Perhaps many Americans think that poverty is something that will happen to somebody else and not to me, and therefore, why should I really be concerned about this? Well, as I started thinking about this question, I began to look into the question of what do we know about the lifetime risk of poverty in the United States? And it turns out that we really didn't know very much at all about that. So we have a lot of information about uh, how many people are poor in any given year. We have a lot of information about how long people are in poverty. But there was really nothing about what the lifetime risk of poverty was. And so this started me down this road of exploring this particular question. And what I've done, along with my colleague Tom Herschel, is we've taken the big longitudinal data set known as the Panel Study of Income Dynamics and taken that data, which has been going on since 1968 and following households over this period of time, and been able to put it in a format to actually estimate what the life course risk of poverty is for Americans. And it turns out that the results were quite surprising. So what we found was that actually a majority of Americans at some point in their lives would experience a year below the poverty line. Now this certainly was a, a surprising finding. And as I would go around the country and talk about this research, the reaction was often, well, that's very interesting, but of course poverty won't happen to me. And I started to think about what is it that I could do to take this research and put it in the hands of the general population? And I started to think about what kind of a tool might one be able to, to construct that would allow people to use this research so that they could look at what their risk of poverty might be. And I hit upon the idea of a risk calculator. And so, what you find is there are risk calculators in a number of different fields, but particularly in the field of medicine. So you can go to various websites uh, and uh, enter, enter the website, and what you can find is a heart disease risk calculator. And what these are designed to do is you put in your cholesterol numbers and your blood pressure numbers and several other things, and it will give you your 10-year estimate of having a heart attack in the next 10 years. This is based on a large longitudinal data set called the Framingham Heart Study. But I thought, could we do the same thing with poverty? Could we take the data that we have been analyzing and put it into a risk calculator to actually estimate what people's individual risks of poverty was? And so after many months of designing and programming, we came up with a poverty risk calculator. And so what we have is a website that's called Confronting Poverty. And what people can do is go to that website and they can click on the poverty risk calculator. And there are three steps involved. The first step is to indicate how far into the future you want to look the next 5, 10, or 15 years. You enter that, uh, you go to the next step, which then asks you, what level of poverty are you interested in predicting? Poverty or near poverty, something below the poverty line, or extreme poverty? And you check that, and you go to the third step, which then asks you to put in your 
uh, demographic characteristics. And so we have five demographic characteristics, age, marital status, education, gender, and race. And you can put those in and hit submit, and you will get your 5, 10, or 15 year risk of poverty. It's very easy to change the different characteristics so that you can compare yourself with somebody with other characteristics. You can also change on the fly the amount of time you want to project out as well as the overall level of poverty. The other thing that we have on the website that I think is really interesting is a discussion guide so that people can learn more about various aspects of poverty and inequality. And I think what's radical about this idea is it takes social research and it puts it in the hands of the general population so that individuals are actually able to see what their connection is to poverty. And for many people, that connection is not trivial. It's actually quite high. What that does is it then implies that rather than poverty being an individual failure, poverty actually is a structural failure. Since the website has been up and running, we've had close to a million page views. We've had people from over 200 countries. And we've had stories in various media outlets talking about the idea of the poverty risk calculator. But underlying this idea is a very simple theme. And that is that poverty should no longer be viewed as an issue of them. Poverty should be viewed as an issue of us. And as a result, poverty truly affects us all. And I think it's time for our social policies to reflect this radically new understanding of American poverty. Thank you. <laughs>